This is how you update your uh, Joytech cuboid from 150 watts to 200 watts. Go to the Joytech software download page and then uh, if you have a VTC mini you can uh, use the same cuboid software to update the VTC mini so you only have to download the VT software for cuboid you find it over here on the right hand side click that and you come over here and pick Mac or Windows whichever one you have I have Windows so I click on Windows and then save as Cuboid firmware, which I already have it, so I'm going to cancel out of that. And you close that. Go to where you saved it at. Click on Cuboid firmware. And then you pick the version that you want to upload. After you uh, click update here. And then at this point then, you want to plug in your Cuboid. Then you click update. And then it'll ask you where it's at. And you just find it and click to the 3.10 bin. Click open. If it doesn't show up, firmware update complete. Click OK. And then you can unplug it. You're done. Now if you you can click update here and you can go back to the old firmware if you like. And then if you don't see any files here at all, come down here and click on your thing and select your firmware files for bin. But if you wanted to go back to the old version, you just click on that and click open. I'm not because it's going to take it back to the old one. And there again, like I said, you just click that one and it updates it automatically. Just click OK. Basically, you're done. I updated it twice. And just click exit. You're done. That's all you gotta do. See now we're at firmware version 3.10. That's it. It's easy as that. Now your mod will go to 200 watts. And if you watch my um, review and setup and you'll be able to see the extra features that are added in that'll be in the next video thanks for watching